everyone, and welcome to today. It's Carly and Combo. Oh, I'm, I'm, here, I'm with Stevie. Can you Carly? hear me? Can you hear me? I can't hear you. No, you're having me on, aren't you? Carly, I can't hear you. Really? <laughs> I can't hear you now. No, why not? I think you so... muted my mic. I think you muted my mic and everything, as far as I know. Right, I can hear you. <laughs> it's not me. <laughs> Ed, where are you? Well, it is um, meant hear. to be. It's like <laughs> uh, with oh, there you go. Roses. Can you I got you. Got you. Yeah. Right, okay. What a turbulent start. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were having me on. I was going, you're having me on, aren't you? Because he was having a little bit of banter behind the scenes. But oh, he was actually... Right, okay. <laughs> so you can hear me loud and clear. We're all good. Yeah. Okay, Brilliant. right. Let's hope that's the only technical hitch during this whole thing. <laughs> Fingers <laughs> crossed. Well. Anyway, yeah, this is CB Ritchie, X Factor Fave. So I think it was 2014, if my calculation yes. is right. So yeah, eight years ago. That's so, crazy. It's been that long? Yeah, I, I mean, it just for, for me, Carly, it just feels like yesterday kind of thing, you know. Um, uh, I still, uh, loads of fond memories uh, of what happened and everything uh, goes on and uh, just the performances and everything and I'm also reminded every day as about my first audition you know it's really it's just really fun and I love it and do you know what bring it on it's just um I love to do it all again in a heartbeat put it that way oh I'm glad you have fond memories because I, I mean we all did watching at home so that was eight years ago so I'm 20 so I was 18 I think at the time so yeah oh. I was Watching, watching it. But how, how have you been anyway? What have you been up to recently? Well, uh, so I've just um, I had a gig last night in uh, Western Superman. So I'm sorry if my eyes a little, a little bit sort of uh, jaded. Like or, you know, but I, I'm all right. I'm all good. I had a gig last night. That's done. I've come back uh, from Western Superman, and I've just literally about three days ago come off tour. Uh, with the Wizard of Oz in, um, you know, uh, touring with Bobby Davro and a great cast, fantastic cast. So, you know, I that is that that was intense. But I tell you what, amazing, amazing tour. So I've just come up, I'm playing the Tin Man as well. I think I saw a picture of that on your Instagram actually. So how, how was that play, playing that character? Do you channel in some of your own personality in with it? Oh, absolutely. I, I keep to the own voice, but add my own spin on it. But also. Um, you know, just add to the own moves and everything because it's very robotic and you're very kind of, you know, you can't very, really move in it, for goodness sake, you know. But it is proper um, proper fun. It's just two shows a day. It, it is knackering. It's, it's, yeah. It really is. But I'll tell you what, wow, I've learned a lot. Learned a lot. Um, how does that compare to performing in front of Simon, Big Man Simon? Nothing compares to that, you know. Simon Cowell is is just the legend, the the goddess. Uh, the, well, not goddess, even that's a girl. Uh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> there we go. See, there's the never straight away. He, he's the god of X Factor, and I've always said it, you know. And um, I do feel our paths will cross again at some point. I don't know when, don't know how. I'm very spiritual, Carly, but I do believe that. Um, it's been eight years, but I know if I did <laughs> see him again, I, if I saw him again, I think he would. He goes, TV. And I'll be like, Simon, yeah. Right, give that me a really, that does sound like him then. So that was that was quite no. on point. Yeah. yeah. How are you? Yeah, he's very <laughs> like that. You know, very plummy sometimes. But I do, I have got a feeling I'm going to meet him again someday. Just watch his space. Do you think it will be Harvester Part 2? Well, yeah. But this time I'll probably go more um, Nando's, I think. You know, um, I think Nando's will be a little way forward this time. Harvester was great, don't get me wrong, free salads and everything. And of course, you know, I had a bloody, um, I had a, a mixed grill and he had, uh, he had, uh, I think, was it, was it sausage? No, um, fish and chips and mushy peas. That's what he had, yeah. Very I can't quite picture him in a Harvester or a Nando's, but I'm so here for it all the same. So uh, I hope that, what was he like well, as a dinner date? Absolutely. Do you know what? I, I've got no bad words to say about Simon. He is just he, he's just so caring and, and honest, um, a very uh, powerful man, but not in a horrible way, a very nice way um, and lovely to talk to. I, I got to know him really well um, during that dinner and throughout the whole, you know, seven, eight weeks I was on the show. So, um well, it's actually longer than that. It was like six months of my life. So, yeah, <laughs> uh, I got to know him on a personal level. And I have to say, he gave me a massive opportunity in life. And yeah. for that, I, I, I'm indebted to him, put it that way. Were you ever scared before meeting him? Because obviously he is the one that 
over the years, he's been the one to impress. So I probably would have been cranking in my boots a little bit. So was, oh. were you intimidated? Did he soon let that go by being nice? Or were you still a little bit like, oh? Carly, honestly, I, I remember it so well, my first audition, my my, my ass was flapping, um, like, literally, um, from 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 side to side every time I walked. You could probably hear it when you when I let out some, you know, like a little, uh, um, uh, one of them parts. So, um, <laughs> and I, I thought to myself, they're going to, I even said to the runner, uh, I think her name was Sarah, and I said to her, they're going to hate me, they're going to hate me, they're going to hate me. And I, I remember it so well. Then I walked on and I just thought, you know what? Nothing to lose now. Just go for it. Do what I need to do. And uh, hopefully they're going to they're gonna love me. And to my credit, they laughed. So um, <laughs> it's a good thing. And I'm, I'm glad they laughed rather than a very sour face, very miserable, you know, when you're not what we're looking for. But instead it worked in my favour because I forgot my lyrics. And it weren't scripted. It was just me being me. I forgot the song. The lyrics were out of my head. I was like shit what are the lyrics you know um, and the, the funny thing was it weren't my original song I was going to do it was meant to be Somebody to Love by Queen and George Michael and then Simon stopped me halfway and then he said right um, I want you to sing Dance With Me Tonight and of course my media reaction in my head thinking Fuck, I don't know this song I don't know this song whatsoever so cut long story short as you see it was just what you see there was for real I generally didn't know the song so yeah absolutely Quaking in my boots, one hundred percent. But as you say, you you tur you twisted the arm. You were in there; they loved you. So I think even all the judges were really kind, kind of about you. But you Love did turn it. into kind of no novelty act, which, as you, I think I've read before, you said that wasn't your intention at <laughs> all. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. it happened, and you just went for it, which I think is hilarious. But yeah, another novelty act that I was speaking to the other week was Wagner. Wagner, oh, Wagner. Yeah. I don't know how to say it. But he said wow, over yeah. years, he feels like the show kind of came to an end. He had this really, like, packed theory for two reasons. One, because no one's, like, buying records anymore, so the sort of record deal prize didn't really work. And two, because Mr Nasty turned into Mr Nice Guy. He said that may be due to sort of the show coming to an end. People wanted to see him being nasty. But um, I always thought that, yeah, do you know what? He has softened over the years. I yeah. just assumed it to him becoming a dad. But Wagner seems to think it's because producers forced him to sort of get with the woke culture. So I was wondering what you kind of thought about him sort of softening and how that kind of come about. Yeah, I mean... Um... I mean, to be honest with you, and I will be honest, Carly, like, I think after my year, it kind of, it still was there. The show was still there. Um, I, I do think um, it kind of lost its way a little bit, if I'm honest, because let's be honest, every X Factor has a joke hack, right? Every mm -hmm. X Factor. So after me, it kind of, I mean, you had Honey G, and believe you me, I love uh, Honey G. Is, yes. I've met her, and she's lovely. But <laughs> after that, it kind of dwindled down a bit and kind of lost its way. Um, and with regards to Simon, yeah, he did kind of love everybody instead of hate everybody. Um, whether that was to do with producers, I don't know, or that was just him being him. But the Simon I know, he was just so, just not horrible, but very forward and blunt. And that is Simon. I mean, but he's caring. He's so caring, lovely as well, just away from the cameras. But as, as a uh, judge, he needs to put his business head on, as he said to me. You're not the best singer in the world, Stevie. However, I do love you as a person. You're infectious. You're funny. You're this, that, and the other. But you're singing. You're singing, not so good. So <laughs> that's the honesty right there. So it kind of lost that. So in a, a degree, I do kind of agree with um, with Wagner. You know, yeah. but hey, you never know. It might come back refreshed, re revamped, and everything. Oh, they're bringing back like Big Brother apparently, so you never know. X Factor could come back too, like iconic shows. You never know. But also the other judges that year, I think, was Cheryl, was at Melby and Louis. And I was yes, having a little yes. dig, and I think Louis actually branded you a sex god. And I was wondering <laughs> if, if you thought there was any truth in that. Well, um, I was I was single, of course, in X Factor. Um, uh, I, I, sex god. I mean, yeah, the women used to go sex god. Um, but, <laughs> So, uh, I don't know, it's kind of a name that kind of uh, got with me because uh, there was a lot of rumours backstage that I went off with, you know, dancers and this, that and the other. And then, honestly, that's not the truth. Um, I had a wee, I had a, I had a good old piss 
Um, and everyone thought I left and went somewhere, but I didn't. I actually just went for a wee. And then I was just about two minutes before the, the doors open and it's live. I just said, oh, I had to go for a wee. I had to go for a wee. And that was what the rumour was because everyone thought I went, went off with yeah. such and such, but I didn't. That's the weird thing. So then it stuck. Simon said, right, you're my guilty pleasure. You're the sex god, Stevie Ritchie. So it was just that kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, I could be, like, called worse, so it's not the worst thing you could ever be called. So, you know, I'd live for that. But that's, that's what I was going to ask you. I read that there was a dancer backstage, and you've just – it wasn't true then. <laughs> no. You actually ha having a wee or a poo and not actually getting it on the <laughs> – Definitely number one, Kylie. Definitely number one. Yeah, I needed a wee. You know, for, the nerves get the better of me and cause 10 million viewers, and you're about to perform, and you've you got to remember so much – you know, you're thinking, I, I, sh I need a wee, I need a wee. So that's what I just buckled off. I said, so I need to go, I need to go. So I did. And then I come back and then that's how the rumour started about Randy Ritchie and everything else. So, <laughs> yeah. But, so what was that? Apart from that, was the women throw themselves at you in real life after the show? Did that kind of, was that a, a plus? Well, I got a lot of attention, but I, I wouldn't say they're throwing themselves. They're probably more sort of walking away and, and uh, throwing themselves away from me, actually, more than anything else. Um, of course, you know, the, the, the social media and all that, that was that went right up. And, yeah, I kind of did get a lot of attention from it, as of any TV programme. Uh, and I love it. It's nice to get that kind of um, wantingness from people, you know, being liked. Yeah. That's That's... That's nice. That really you is. And that was just me. Strange fan stories that anyone maybe went a bit over the top. Any st over the top? Over the top? Um, <laughs> any stalkers? Anyone a bit, a little bit OTT? That kind of spring to mind to get any weird fan mail? Well, there was. Um, I mean, I, I think it was just uh, a certain woman in general kept following us everywhere. Not me personally, but just every single um, X Factor act on tour, for instance. They just literally, if we were at the hotel, they knew what hotel we were at before we bloody turned up. Oh so she, they, she was waiting outside and we were like, oh, okay. <laughs> you know, every venue, every place, no matter what, you, you know, you, she was there. Um, I didn't really get any kind of, um, no, bad kind of vibes from people. I mean, I had a lot of trolls, don't get me wrong. A lot of people were, were saying, you know, you're this, you're this, you're that, you're shit, you're this. Um, and of course, it it can you can even it can break you or make you so for me yeah. i i tried to forget about all that and just thought this is my only shot in life to get an opportunity to do what i love and nothing else mattered for me and my daughter that's all i wanted at the time i just wanted to change my life for me and my daughter and you know to this day that's always in my head you know um and of course you know uh, things happen things happen but my daughter is just yeah my world yeah oh but did you get a lot of the like online abuse and was that quite prevalent at that time for you in in particular yeah yeah mm, it was it, do you know what Carly? it was it was hard i i remember one tweet that always stuck in my mind and i never forget it it was um uh it was a tweet from someone called lemon egg or something and i never forget it it's quite funny well it's not funny it was bloody horrible he said to me oh you got a face like a melted willy a welly and you can't sing and you're shit and this and of course looking back i laugh now but at the time it was like oh okay that's really nasty then he started picking on my daughter and that's when i went right hold up hold up you can pick on me don't say nothing about my daughter nothing you know say something about me i can take it but don't say anything about my daughter so it was at the time it was um yeah it was of course a few years ago now but someone called lemon egg uh on twitter said that i got a face like a melted welly and i couldn't sing oh shit and this that, and the other so that really stuck right there and i was like well no. someone called lemon egg can't even use their real name so i don't really think you should take that into account yeah so, lemon egg, if you're listening i would say something rude but we're live on air and i can't do it, do it, Kylie, do it. <laughs> Go on, please. I'll probably get the sack. I'll probably get the sack. My daughter you... now, look, my, my daughter's tuning in. The summer, <laughs> she'll be witchy. Hello, summer. But you say that was kind of the hardest part of X Factor then. Did you get that quite a lot when you was actually on the show as well? Was that like difficult to deal with when you were actually on the show as well? Yeah. So like when I um when I was on the show, I mean, I, I didn't know how to work with social media, to be honest, Carly. I, I didn't know how to work Twitter. I, I to sh was shown how to do Twitter. You know, so then I, I saw these tweets come up, like, after every show. And it was just like, 
oh, get him off, he's, he's this, he's that, and it was higher. Um, I never let it interfere with me because I just, I thought if I do, I'm just never going to uh, be me and put on, you know, a show. So for me, I just totally forgot about it. Even in the headlines with everything else, I was just like, no, this is me. I'm not going to let it interfere. I'm just going to change my life for me and my daughter. So now it's all good. But the weird thing is, whenever when I left the show, Everyone was like, oh, it's boring now. We need to see you back. We need to see you back. It's boring now. Bring him back. So I couldn't win either way. Yeah. But anyway, that's that's a compliment because they wanted me back. But, of course, yeah. I have eliminated. Andrea Faustini eliminated me, you bugger. <laughs> anyway, no, he's the better singer anyway, so good on him. But then you did stay in the headlines because after that there was a little bit of co-star romance blossoming that we will we will mention. We've got to mention. Do you know what I mean? It was, it was big. So... How did that come to an end? Why do you think that kind of fizzled out? Because that was a few oh, years in, in the runnings, weren't it, of you and Chloe? Yeah, I mean, Chloe, yeah, I, you know, um, I just, I, I suppose it just, it just, yeah, um, it fizzled out. I mean, I, I've got no um, bad word or hate uh, with her. She's, you know, an amazing person, very talented. Um, we've just gone our separate ways, you know. Um, at the time, it was great. We, we've done so much together, you know, Big Brother, um, TV shows. Um, everything was just so, you know, it was great. You know, it was like a, a whirlwind. Uh, or is that a word? Yeah, whirlwind. 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 That's the one. <laughs> so at the time, it was... Um, it was very like that. And uh, I, listen, I have no regrets at all. You know, she's a fantastic lady. Uh, she's very talented. And she's doing a lot of modelling at the moment. And you know what? I wish her all the best, you know. Um, it just, it just the shame. It's just, we went our separate ways sort of thing. Yeah. You know? Are you not in touch at all anymore? That's just kind of stayed, stayed apart? Yeah. Honestly. Pretty much like that, Kylie. But, you know, mm -hmm. hey. Well, I know you had to deal with a lot of showman's claims at the time. There was constantly you guys just defending that it was actually a real relationship. That's what I did all my research. I was like, yeah, yeah. we're not the showman's. We are real. So that was, is that what kind of why you guys went on Big Brother in the first place to say, like, look, we are a legit couple. Like, here yeah. we are. Yeah. I mean, for it, we were. For, for us, it was just we were, like, um, in a real romance. It weren't fake or anything like that. It weren't a publicity stunt, although people did say that. And I get that, you know. But um, for, for us, it was real and honest. And, um, yeah, I, it was just a true, honest love. So um, we had a big brother. And, of course, it, that was really hard because, you know, newly engaged and we went in and... Well, you know, <laughs> they put us on our toes, put it that way, Kylie, because she they took off our engagement ring, put them in boxes, and we couldn't we couldn't even speak to each other for like forty eight hours or something it was, and that was so hard, you know. So yeah, that was just so sad. But they know what they're doing, the big brother. Oh they, yeah, they that's are what I was going to say. That's you should have expected that going in because out of all the shows, it's a complete mind game, isn't it? It like, is completely. It so really I was having a look at some clips back, and like I think. Cool. Not just um, the Big Brother itself, but are your other housemates were kind of getting sick of you guys PDAing, should we yeah. say? So they'd even yeah. banned you from touching each. Other. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Not <laughs> saying hello, not uh, touching each other, no PTA. I mean, a lot of them. Yeah, they did. Uh, they didn't like it. Put it out, especially Austin. Bless him. He was like, "I am sick of those two. Keep kissing. It's fucking me up." <laughs> Like that, like, you know, I can't do an American accent, but um, he was very, yeah, like that. But, hey, you know, why not? I mean, there was nothing else to do, really. <laughs> so we were, just, we were doing that at the time, you know, and smoking as well. I was, like, I was smoking 20 a day, for goodness sake, Kylie, you know. Oh, God. Blimey. Yeah. Not anymore. Don't smoke anymore. Quit. Oh, good. Um, also, moving on, I've seen that you've had a couple of fitness transformations on since the whole X Factor time. Yes. What is kind of spurred you want to do that? I think we've got some pictures here looking, looking good. So what kind of, why is fitness so important to you and sort of like keeping up good appearances? Well, I'll tell you what it is, Kylie. For me, it's all about mental health and not just um, looking good on uh, for people, but the, feeling good with inside of you and and um being happy you know for me i've always loved uh, weight training and and everything else um uh, the past couple of weeks though i'm not gonna lie i put a bit of weight on a bit, a bit of timber on the old stomach so i'm starting a new transformation on monday for eight to 12 weeks um with a new trainer and i cannot wait to get started because i'm going to get severely cut up 
and shredded and lean for the summertime. So look out for that on my social media because that is going to be, I'm going to be really looking just ripped to the core because at the moment, you know, I've still got the muscle mass, but I'm, I'm feeling a bit sort of fluffy, if you know what I mean, Carly. So watch this space. <laughs> Well, keep an eye out. You'll, you'll be in time this summer anyway, so I think you have time to write. You look good in anyway, so don't worry about oh, it. But I was going to say, I was <laughs> going to say, is it also so you can whip out the mankini every now and then? We have <laughs> You're going to show a picture, are you? Oh, no. Here we I go. think we have, oh. if Ed oh. behind the scenes can, can, can put it up. Oh, God, Ed. Listen, Ed I have I'm... you now. Oh, okay, I like that bit. Oh, God, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, um, didn't this even come out in Big Brother as well? I was having a look at clips and stuff. It's not even just the first time. Does this come out on on occasion? Yeah, I well, I've got it hidden upstairs in my wardrobe, so that's <laughs> not gonna. I'm not gonna get that anytime soon, Carly, unless. It's for a TV show. No, I won't really. No, I won't really. Um, you know what? I half expected you to answer the live today wearing it. <laughs> Well, I thought I'd be sensible because I was going to dress up into like, um, I don't know, one of my outfits. But I thought, no, I keep it professional and keep it real because, I mean, that is a little bit of a joke side to me. I've also got one of these um, like aprons where they're, all the body shows and the willies out or something, you know. So I got one of them and I was going to wear that. And I thought, no, I better not. No, just offend people. So I just kept it real. And this is what you see is me. There's no, you know, no makeup. I'm, look, look. Look, I'm booming knackered, bags under the eyes, everything. So this is just me. But you never know, it might, might make an appearance one day. Who what knows? What do your fans say when it does make an appearance? You must get the odd comments, <laughs> messages, and you must get some, yeah, so, well, probably very keen messages come in the DMs sometimes. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, sometimes they, they, uh, they, you know, DM me, um, you know, what, uh, put, put it away or, you know, uh, oh, blimey, you, you hide in two sausages under there or something. I don't know, two cob nuts, you know, it's, it's one of them. Um, and I, I don't know how to respond to that, but it's been a lot, such a long time since I've put it on and I always have to put a sock for the cock anyway, Carly. So, you know, it's. I do because there's not much. No, I'm only no, I better not say that. You're going to keep that in, ain't you? Um, so I've got to be careful, you know, because so well, I just sort of put a bit of padding down there just to, yeah, make it look bigger. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, we'll see. What's your space? We'll move on from the mankini anyway, because yeah. <laughs> Is there any other TV work that you'd like to do? Anything else that you'd maybe have your eye on? Oh, as my it's... daughter can bless her. Yeah, I know, really cry. I'm so I... sorry, Summer, but I had to. Had to... <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't know if my uh, my other other half's watching as well. I haven't got a clue, um, Joanna. But um, yeah, I'll talk about that in a moment. Yeah. Um, so, um, oh God, what was the question? Um, TV stuff. Would you be keen to get yes. the screen again? I. Do you know what I'd love to do, Kylie? And this is probably a long shot, but I'm just putting it out there to you and everyone right now. I'd love to do the jungle. Um, I'd love to do. I'm a celeb. I'd love to do it. Uh, I'll do it for free. You know, that's how keen I am to do it because I love to do that show. I'm a big fan of it. The only thing I don't like is spiders, but you know what? Oh, God. Bring it on. I could do it all. I love to do it and I love to be part of it. Even if I last for one or two weeks, that would be just a dream just to get on there. That is my show. I've always, for the past six years since leaving X, um, X Factor, even, yeah, I've always wanted to. I've had that in my mind. I thought, oh, I'd love to love to do that show so love that to do yeah. yeah well we're, oh, putting no, out there. we're putting it out there into the universe so producers manifestation manifestation kylie manifestation because obviously some people after x, after x factor they sort of aren't in the limelight as kind of as much as you've been but then some people want to take themselves away some people want to be in it i read that you kind of said fame is a little bit addictive and kind of like a drug so i don't explain that little theory to us yeah so like for I mean, we all want more in life, like more money, more sex, more love, um, uh, more fame, more everything. We all, we, we, some, some of us, you know, we can have in our minds we're quite greedy. Some of us are not. You know, for me, uh, fame was, uh, it was just, it was just, just I did my feet didn't touch the floor, Carly. And, you know, I've had a taste of it. I've enjoyed it. Uh, that was a great opportunity. And believe you me, I, I'm so grateful for all the things I've done. I have no regrets, like I say. Um, but I suppose it, it can be addictive. You do you do want to see yourself more on the telly. You do want to be mm -hmm. on stage more, you know. Um, 
and that's the thing with it. It's just, it's kind of like, um, I don't know, I suppose just sort of uh, taking loads of coffee. You just, you get addicted to coffee and you think, oh, I need, I need more, I need more. So that's kind of thing with that. Uh, for me, I, I, as long as I'm doing what I love, entertaining, performing, then I'm happy. But of course, if, if the uh, occasion ever arose, the opportunity arose, I would love to take I'm a celeb, get me out of it because that is the show to get on. So yeah. I, you never know. Pray fingers crossed, fingers crossed. But as you did briefly mention just earlier, there is a new romance in your life, as we've got a picture over here. Lovely yeah. Joanna. <laughs> Joanna, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. We've been dating for about sort of 10, 11 months now. Uh, you know, she's a great girl. Um, uh, just, just, yeah, she's beautiful. She, she makes me happy. She makes me smile. She's lovely. Um, yeah, just faultless, really. So um, I have no, nothing bad. She's just awesome. Uh, and she's an actress herself. Yeah, that's what know. I love on her Instagram. I think you said, like, curvy model slash actress. I was like, do you know what? Go on, Stevie. You're doing all yeah. right. I'm doing all I know. How do I do it? <laughs> How do I do it? I, um, I don't know. She just said... Uh, How did you guys meet? Was it well, 10, 11 months? I can't even remember. Are we still in lockdown then? Is it after lockdown stage? I can't yeah. remember. My life just gone, whoop. No, no, that's right. Actually, um, <laughs> yeah, so I sort of met her at a premiere. Um, and then it sort of kind of... We kind of... We were talking, but, you know, uh, off and on. And then um, I sort of asked her for... Not a harvester this time. I asked her for a Minna and Carter. Okay, and, you've gone you know, up levels. Absolutely. And that kind of, that set the bar kind of thing, really. Um, and, of course, uh, we've just sort of been dating since last May. So, yeah, and she's, yeah, she's an amazing girl, uh, fantastic. Uh, and who knows? Who knows what will the, the future will bring, you know? Uh, she's probably going to watch this, or if not, she is watching <laughs> I ain't got a bloody clue, Kylie, but she she's great. And, um, yeah. Oh, well, let yeah. me flash up. There's another pic of you guys at a red carpet. And this was on your Instagram. And I had Ooh. to ask because some of your fans in the comments was, were commenting on your booty. So some are saying, what is in your pocket, Stevie? Some are saying, have you got something stuck down there? I, is that all natural? Have we got J-Lo stuff going on here? Are you got something in your pocket? I have actually got, like, if I show you, I have got, like, a big bum anyway. I oh, don't know if I can show that. Can I? Yeah. Oh, God, I can't get it. But, but that is actually my wallet at the back that makes it look bigger. So, um, yeah, that was, like, full of cards and everything. That was my wallet at the back of my bum there. So that's not really my real bum, but I have got a big bum, yes, because I do a lot of squats and, you know, lunges and everything else. So that it oh, kind God. of... I was laughing. It, I was looking at the comments and I was like, oh, that's a nice picture of the couple. And then they were literally all the fans were going, Stevie, what's going on? Stevie, <laughs> Al. Um, yeah. We'll just do some quick fire things before we go. So do you have a particularly embarrassing kind of showbiz on stage or moment that has kind of been in your career that stands out? Yeah, actually, there's one. Um, I was doing a nightclub and there was two girls beside me and um, I sort of went down into a slut drop sort of thing. They call it that nowadays. And um, <laughs> as I come back up, I actually headbutted them both. So I sort of went bang. <laughs> and they, they, got, they nearly knocked themselves out. Like, Carly, it was so embarrassing because it was performing on stage and these two girls, they must have had a massive bloody bruises on their head because when I come back up, they just went... Bang! You know, it was one of their moments, and I, I felt so bad. I'm, I'm so sorry. And I was singing and performing at the time. I think it was a nightclub in, um, oh my god, Brighton. I think it was Revenge or something, something like that. It was one of them. It was a nightclub, I know. And I was performing there, and oh my god, I they must have thought I, I, I don't know. I must have. Were they dancers or were they just random girls that were there? Just two girls were on stage. I, I pulled on stage. I think singing <laughs> "Living the Vida Loca" or something like that. So and you did all, a real life Ricky Martin moment that went wrong. <laughs> went down to a slut drop, and as I come back up, not realizing they, I, they, they didn't realize I was going to come back up. So as I come back up, they, they sort of just went bang, and and they just sort of kind of my head hit their their pin sort of thing, sort of. So it was just like, ooh, oh, and, it, and you had to keep going, and you had to keep singing. Oh, it wasn't great, put it that way, but I've, I felt sorry for myself. I'm so sorry. So, <laughs> yeah, that's not a good look. I, I, that was one one memory of like, what I've got. And, of course, always taking my top off on stage as well. That's that's another thing. Not showing my, my you know, meat and two veg, but um, <laughs> more more the case of um, taking my top off, yeah. 
that always be well, it won't always be the case because I I don't do that anymore. Really. I'm getting old now. I'm kind of. No, I'm forty one. Why has it stopped? Well, I uh, maybe one day when I'm a bit ripped up, I might sort of do some camera stuff and you know take my top off when I'm a bit ripped up. But at the moment, you don't want to see this. Trust me, <laughs> I don't think no one does. So, is, it, is your limits at the top? Then you wouldn't ever do full Monty show. Do you know what? I would always. Uh, what you mean the ITV one? Yeah, yeah, I, I would do that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'll give my all for that. Uh, everything, um, whether it be enough to look at, I don't know, but I would definitely love to do that, Carly. I, I would. They, um, give me a call for Monty. I'll do it. I'll get ripped <laughs> up. And, oh, absolutely. Um, another quick five question: What is your worst lab experience? So, anyone been really rude or really you've had an embarrassing moment with them anything that sticks out or someone you were really going to be starstruck with and then they just pied you anything stick out well i mean my favorite uh one of my favorite ever celebs i've ever met was shane ritchie absolute diamond love him funny as hell uh and i kind of i kind of um yeah i see myself in him and vice versa really weird but my worst i suppose not my worst but the one that i was a little bit rude about uh janet street porter weren't very nice to me so yeah on loose women now i know she's very bloody brutal anyway you yes. know it, right she's yes. just like bang and if you don't take it then you are buggered so she was <laughs> she was very rude to me but hey look i i took it i went yeah okay i get it she goes you know, you do sing very flat, don't you? You know, she's very like that. I was like, uh, no, but thanks. Thank you, Janet. Appreciate that. So if I was in the jungle with Janet Street Porter, I think she's already been in, actually. I think um, that I would be like, oh, my God. I'd be like that. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be one of those moments where I, I don't think I could cope. Was <laughs> so, she like yeah. that live on air or was it behind the scenes? No, it was live on air. It was bloody in front of everyone. They're like, you know, live on air and loose women. Uh, and I think it was, um, it was Colleen and uh, Ruth and Andrew McLean, I think. Um, but she was on there as well, Janet Street Porter. And it, mm. honestly, I felt I felt so small. <laughs> Why did she do that? Was it called for at the time? No, I've just been being brutal. Yeah, brutal and honest. But hey, look, I appreciate the who she is. You know, at least she's just honest and you know being herself. But that was I thought, oh, unnecessary. That... I'll say that's Thank not that hit my heart right there. I have to say, yeah. Maybe if you see her in the street, maybe don't give her a wave. No, I bloody won't. No. <laughs> Feel like that. I don't think you recognise me anyway now, anyway. <laughs> older and uglier. Thoughts you know. on Simon's new look? He's kind of looking different probably from the last eight years that you've seen him. So what are you thinking about how he's looking now? <sighs> he's vegan now, isn't he? Or vegetarian, one of them. <laughs> it's like, you know, bloody... I, I think some vegetarians and vegans can't even put their hand up because they're too bloody weak to do it. Um <laughs> I love my meat, you see. Um, no disrespect to vegans and vegetarians. Love you. I love, my, I love my broccoli as well. I love uh, broccoli and ice are the way forward. Um, but uh, Simon's look, yeah. Um, he's unrecognisable, isn't he? Yeah. He's very, very unrecognisable. I can't really recognise him sometimes. But um, uh, he he looks well. Don't get me wrong. He's very slim and, you know, because he was very puffy face, wasn't he, a few years ago. But now he's he's kind of slimmed down. Uh, he's gone for a lot of wars, hasn't he, Simon, lately? Fell off oh, a bomb, yeah. you know, um, you know, had uh, something else. And, and, and of course, now, uh, I mean, it looks great. I, I, I tell you, I'd love to meet him again. I really would. Simon, get in touch, you know what I mean? Please. <laughs> he has had a lot of wars. He's had quite a lot of accidents as well. And then yeah. he's had quite, quite a lot of surgery. So are you thinking he needs to stop where he's at? He doesn't need any more, Simon? Chill out? What are we thinking? No, I think yeah, that's, that's, that's him now. He looks beautiful. Leave it alone, Simon. You look great. You are a legend. You're the god of X Factor. And in my eyes, love you. You give me a big shot in life. <laughs> Do you have any, like, your biggest career regret? That's my last question before we do a little shout out that we've got from Chrissy. Okay. Uh, no, do you know what? No regrets in life. I love everything I've done. Um, you know, everything happens for a reason, Carly. I'm a big, big, big believer in that. And I'm very spiritual. So I like to think that everything's happened for a reason in my life. Um, no regrets. And I'll tell you what, I love it all. Bring it on, whatever's next. <laughs> Hopefully I'm a celeb. 
please, because I'll tell you what, I'll tell you, I'll make you a deal. If I get on that program, I'll give you first interview, Bosh. Yeah. <laughs> That's the deal. I sh I'll pinky promise on here now. I don't know if you can, I'll do that. So I will promise you, you'll get the first dibs and the first interview on that um, for you only, right? Yeah. If Love I do. it. Love it. So we've got Christy here. Hey, Steve, it's Charlotte Slave. Birthday tomorrow. Can you, Risha? Happy birthday, please. Charlotte, happy birthday for tomorrow. I know who you are, Chrissy and Charlotte. Love yous. And there's another one, the one and only legend, Stevie Ritchie, the class of 2014. Oh, oh. love you. Well, love Stevie, you. before we go, where can people catch you on in shows, on tour? What what should we plug here before before we love well, the media? I'm doing a lot of um, Pontins gigs at the moment and uh, Park Deans around the country. Um, I'm doing a lot of celebrity football matches as well with uh, oh. Celebrity UK. So, and that's a lot of, um, you know, big names in that from EastEnders, Love Island, you know, Towie, James Argent, to say, to, but a few. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, all over there, man. At the moment, I wish I can give you a bit more kind of um, like a big TV show, but unfortunately I can't. But you never know, Carly. It could be after yep. this. I get what I want. Well, and Pontins, then... Pontins has been in your blood for a while, even before X Factor, wasn't it? So Quite you're loyal performing there. And I, I did hear a particular story about Pontins, actually, now that you bring it up. Was Ooh. that where, where you may have um, lost your V plates? <clears throat> yeah, that rumour is true. I did in, in a very own chalet with a staff member. Um, <laughs> And uh, I did. I was twenty twenty one. I really was. I really. I was very late starter. Um, and I, I don't know why, but I suppose that that's just the way it is. But I made up for it since. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, sex club. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Now that I know how to do it and it works, you know, I know how to. Uh, I I can I can get it up a bit more. But um, <laughs> only for one person, of course. Um. So, yeah, that, that rumour is true. But Pontins will always be in my blood. I am an entertainer. That's what I do. And I love to perform. And you know what, Carly? Bring it on, whatever is next. Oh, um, oh big shout out to, uh, obviously, Sama, Joanna and Mark Meats, who does PR and stuff. So there you go. Oh, brilliant. Thanks so much for chatting today, Steve. It's been Thank a you. pleasure. And best of luck with all your other performances and hopefully on, on my celeb stint. But, yeah, speak uh, yeah. soon. Thank, Thank you so you, much. Love you. Thank Bye. You. Bye. -bye.